I've had a number of people ask me about ROMs for emulation, so in today's video I'm going to walk you through some of the steps to get your games ready to play. I can't show the process of actually downloading the ROMs because I'll get in trouble with YouTube, but if you do a simple Google search you'll surely find something. Two of the most common um, file types when you download a ROM are going to be a zip file and this .7z file that you see up here. Both of them um, need to be unzipped, so let me show you how to do that. Before we actually unzip the file, I find it easiest if you move the unzipped file to the location where you'd like it to be. So if you're using EmuDeck on your Steam Deck, um, it's going to create a bunch of file um, a fire, file hierarchy for you, um, and where it places that, uh, you actually determine. You can pick on the internal drive, or you can pick the um, SD card. So I picked my SD card, so down here where it says removable devices, um, I'm gonna click that there, and then in this emulation folder, and then in the ROMs folder, and then you can see that it's created a bunch of files here for all the different gaming systems. So the one that I'm going to show you today is a PSP um, game. So we're gonna find that here. There's the PSP folder right there. So we're gonna copy our zip file and put it into this folder here. The easiest way I found to, to actually copy it is you're gonna right click the file manager down here by clicking the left trackpad and you can do start a new instance and that's gonna open up another window of the file manager. And this way, you can easily drag your file from this window to that window. So my um, zip files are in my downloads folder. And we're going to work with this Spider-Man one here. So what I can do is I can actually drag it and click move here. And it's going to copy that over to the new um, the PSP uh, MU deck file. Okay, then once it's copied over, we're going to right click your zip file by pressing the left trackpad, and you're gonna go down here to extract. And this is why I like to have it in the folder where I want its final destination to be, because you can just click extract archive here, and it's going to um, put all the unzipped files right in the same folder where you've placed it. So we're gonna click, click that, and you can see down there that it is extracting the files. So we'll just let that run for just a second. Okay, and then you can see that right here we have the spiderman.iso, which is a file type that the emulator can read. And then the next thing we need to do to get it ready to play is I'm using emudeck, so we're going to uh, launch the Steam Deck, uh, I'm sorry, the Steam ROM Manager. So that is in this games right here, Steam ROM Manager, I'll launch that up. And it needs to exit Steam before it loads. And then once we're in here, um, we want to, so actually one thing to note is when it opens Steam ROM Manager, it's actually going to um, change the way your mouse clicks happen. So instead of clicking the right trackpad down, you can see when I do that, it doesn't do anything. Um, so to actually click, you need to do the um, bottom right trigger. So if I use the right trigger now, you can see that I click. So that's just one thing to uh, keep in mind 
when you're opening the Steam ROM Manager. So we're gonna um, turn on the PSP parser over here. Sony PlayStation Portable. So we're going to use PPSSPP. We're gonna turn that on. And then we're going to go back up to the top here. And we wanna to go to preview and then generate app list. And then you can see that this here is our Spider-Man game. So I'm not gonna go through um, getting artwork and stuff. We're just gonna switch over to the gaming mode and see if our file runs. All right, we're back over in gaming mode. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, before you return to gaming mode, down at the bottom of the Steam ROM manager, just make sure you hit um, save before you switch back to gaming mode. So we're gonna go into our library. We're gonna go over to non-Steam. And then here is our Spider-Man game, the first one there. So we're gonna launch that up and moment of truth, see if it works. Awesome.